Um, so, we'll just say these, uh, Kosar, Kosar, Kata, Kohl, that's hard, you gotta stop the air back there on top of it, right? Kohl, Kohl, Quenum, Quenum, Quet, 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 Quat quat means like knocking like on the door or something. Quat quat. And then lepret. We did not have ours at all, but after the French folks started living, French speaking people started living with us, and I'll say something more about that, uh, we started to get ours in this language. Uh, normally, like that word up here, dret. Uh, the oldest form of that is delayed. Delayed, because people couldn't say ours. Delayed. So moving on, sitchum, sitchum, shush, dum dum, hot. So you see, unaspirated tea, right? Dum dum. It's not dum dum. It's dum dum, right? Dum dum. And then hot, and then all of us, all of us, all of us. Wet. Wet. That's a T and a S right on top of each other, basically. Wet. Wet. You wouldn't think you could do that, but it's it. wet. 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 The next one takes explanation too, because this is basically we would say a flop, flop, or flip flop. Flip flop. This is the sound of calling a horse, basically. So somebody call a horse. How do you call it? There you go. So when you're doing that, everybody try to do that. When you're doing that, you're kind of cutting off the air on the roof of your mouth and then snapping the air through, right? Right? You're kind of... That's what's going on with this. It's just you cut the air off and then it, it's just it's coming out like speech. So flop. Flop. Plop. <laughs> and TS together, nobody says in English, but you all can say it because you say it in some words like at the end of a word like cats, right? But if you try to make an English speaker say it at the front of a word, they go tsunami, <laughs> right? But everybody can say it. I don't know why people say tsunami because everybody knows how to say TS together, right? Tsunami. Tsu. Tsu. It's just TS together. So that's what this is, is suck, 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 and then um, um, um. No, that's the TS, it's just ejective. It's extra hard. Instead of suck, it's um, um, ooly, suck. The two places where there's two I's and two U's in a box is just saying that there's kind of two flavors of these, E and I and U and U, right? Mm -hmm. And they're just not as important, that distinction, as it is in English. So sometimes for some speakers it just slips around, so we just kind of write them as the same sound. We have a technical way to distinguish them if we wanted to really show you a U uh versus a U, but in, in the case of just teaching we don't bother. Wawa, wawa, which is Chinookwawa, right? Chinookwawa means Chinook talk, basically, Chinook speech. The other, well, I'll go back to it on the other page. Uh, ho, ho. Ho, 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 that's this light X, and then Hwap, Hwap, that's a rounded X, like we had Queen, rounded K, this is a rounded X, Hwap, 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 Hwap. Many of our sounds, Many of these words are the sound the sound of what it is. Whop is the sound of digging a hole. Whop, that's like you stuck a shovel in the ground. Whop. You spear something and you umquin. Umquin is the sound of spearing it, you know? Umquin. <laughs> yeah. So, and this X with a dot under it is... Uh, it's a uvular X. It's back where you make those cues. One of my elders told me that that's the sound of choking on a fishbone. 
<laughs> but it's like trying to get, you know, hollock, 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 hollock. It's just back here, hollock, or lock, 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 and then yaim. Ilahi. People know Ilahi, right? People heard that word a lot, Ilahi. It's the same thing, Ilahi. And then pa. These are unusual pa. sounds, but ones we teach. Pa. pa. Lasangel. Lasangel. Lashaf. Lashaf. Stu. Stu. Um, let's flip back to the first page real quick. Go ahead. So in the new version of the dictionary, will that have the letter R in it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The, the dictionary as it is right now is about half of it is the language as spoken and recorded by elders in Grand Round expressly. There's an entire section of just the way we recorded the language from Indians there. Then there's another smaller section that's a regional dictionary that's kind of the people from Willapa Bay, you know, like some of my family, and then more regional like Fort Vancouver. If there's good recordings of it, of Indian speaking it, and it has a meaning beyond what we recorded from elders in Grand Round, it has its own little section. <coughs> so that is a section. Then it has a Chinook, uh, English to Chinook, you know, side. That's all Chinook to English. Then English to Chinook. And then the back of it's all texts. And it's all stories, just recorded little yarns, full blown stories, whatever, songs, all recorded by, you know, fluent native speakers. So how many words would you have to know to sort of research? Well, Chinook Wawa is cool because it has a very limited vocabulary, it's like seven, eight hundred words. But it works like Mandarin or something where you do a lot of compounding. You know, you put two words together and it means something totally different. And so that's how Chinook Wawa manages to really work, right? And so, but you can get by, uh, you know, grammar is not horribly complex. It's not like, you know, everything, it doesn't inflect uh, like, English does and like all the other local native la native languages does it doesn't really do that because of its origins as a pigeon so uh, it, it, it has its advantages I mean it's it's why everybody spoke it if it's easier to speak so you know originally this language in its true pigeon form pre-contact was mostly Chinookan I don't know what the percentages would have been the vast majority Chinook and then some of our local languages, probably a little bit of the Kalapuya that's in it already, or still in it, and then a lot of our local Salish. So probably mostly Lower Chehalis, but also Tillamook had an influence on it. Um, that still exists. Right now, basically, as we speak, it's something like 55%, a little more, I think, on the most recent count is Chinookan, and it's exactly as it comes out of Chinookan. I mean, literally every sound, you know, swap, Ow, how good. These are just Chinookan words, right? That have moved them themselves into uh, into Chinookwawa. About seven percent is New Chanuf, which is the Vancouver west coast of Vancouver Island, and the seven percent that comes from the west coast of Vancouver Island is immeasurably important. You can't remove it from the language and have the language work. The absolute way the language works, I mean, grammatically requires those parts from the west coast of Vancouver Island. So it's very interesting that that's the case. Um, the English, uh, probably, probably the English came in in the course of maybe 10 years with the first ships, maybe 1790 to 1800 or something. It, this language has not been compelled to just take English and just run with it. It got a certain number of words that were words mostly for things we didn't have or were, you know, whatever, like, and, and they've been very nativized, so you wouldn't even necessarily notice like, uh, oh, you would never hear English in that, right? But there's, uh, lom was, is liquor, rum, lom. Or, uh, that doesn't sound like English, but it's saying you ought to put out the fire. Or words like stick or sick came into this language. 